Hi, I'm Jan Brandt. I'm this week's studio visit artist for I Like Your Work. I am a printmaker, fiber artist, and painter located in Bloomington Normal, Illinois. Welcome to my studio. Currently I'm working on fiber sculptures for an upcoming exhibition that is titled The Magic Garden. This is one of the pieces that I um, I've made them in a dome shape and then I hand sew, hand cut, hand stitch all these pieces and I just, it's a stream of consciousness kind of making. And so I aim for an interpretation of plant life. At the same time, I want it to be whimsical and really draw people in. I've even beaded um, petals. I've made pom-poms and um, I find humor in the way flowers present themselves and plants. Um, they're just fun and I, I enjoy making them. It's a stream of consciousness type of making. I don't uh, figure everything out ahead of time. I may collect certain things such as colorways, but I always leave myself open to what I'm gonna add next to a piece such as this. I also am working on more paintings that will be in the exhibit and they also have a botanical theme. They are abstracted, um, but you can see leaves and uh, flowers. Uh, I like, I enjoy borrowing from different styles of art through the ages. It could be um, Austrian woodcut works. It could be uh, Japanese printmaking. Somehow I, I just let these all sort of percolate in my brain as I'm creating. And so this also will be part of the magic garden that is coming up in August. When I went, I went back to college in my late 40s and was lucky to meet many great professors. And Tony Crowley taught a printmaking class. And one, one of the uh, assignments was about being true to yourself. And I find myself asking myself that question, what seems right, what seems true to, to me? And trying to not be so worried about how is it going to be received or what will other people think? Will, will I embarrass myself if I make things that are kind of awkwardly interesting? Uh, to me, there's a beauty to following my own thoughts and interpreting that through a process of creating. So that's what I would, I would offer that advice to stay true to your ideas. You can always change things up a little bit as you learn or wherever your, your um, thought process takes you but trust in yourself and make those first moves to work on your art that comes from your own self. Thanks for taking a look inside my studio and also thanks for the opportunity. I like your work uh, podcast and the people that work there. I'm thrilled to be a part of this. I enjoy following other people's work and I hope that you've enjoyed seeing what I do here.